Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Perlo's NHL Pearls of Wisdom BPAL Picks Edition again. Didn't have one last night. I was out uh, just enjoying the weekend, enjoying the summer. I did send picks out to my Patreon members, though, and uh, we did okay. I, it's this this playoffs has been really tough for me. I I also watch the Ice Guys, and uh, I also watch. Okay, I've mentioned that. Best bet Ed quite a bit. Uh, other guys as well. And I, I don't see anybody really rocking it this, this playoffs. It, it's been some tough capping, but it's fun. And that's really what it's all about, right? <laughs> we had, we're had we having fun, man. It's great hockey. Although right now, I, I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little down. I'm an Oilers fan. and Wow. I said before the thing I was worried because... I, I just don't like their bottom six. I don't think they have the type of players that uh, you need in your bottom six to win championships. I, I, I was sure they weren't going to win a championship. I was banking that they would get through Winnipeg because Winnipeg came in soft. But that doesn't seem to matter this year. Teams have been turning it on. And uh, Hallibuck looked really good. Edmonton did outplay Winnipeg. Hellebuck kept them in. And then they just took some stupid penalties and acted like a young, inexperienced team back on their heels again, like they did against Chicago. It was really disappointing. I really thought that they had that beat, but they got back at her again. Anyways, um, what do we have? We had, uh, I, I nailed Colorado. I didn't get Nashville. Winning that game, um, I had Carolina money line and the under, so I didn't get that. I did have Boston. Um, I had the under, and then I changed it to an over later. Otherwise, I would have caught both of those. Um, well, let's take a look at it real quick. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little down. That really bugs me that, that they lost that game. <laughs> really, really bugs me, and it's just over right now when I'm about to do this. But I got I'm going hiking tomorrow, so uh, where the heck is my score? Score, 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 score. Uh, here we go. Well, I guess I don't have it. Uh, NHL score. Sorry, guys. Uh, we had, and okay, I had Avalanche. We had it in regulation. We had the over. We had the Bruins, but we had the under. We had the Oilers and under. And we had the Hurricanes and under. We're down money for sure today. But I'm just down because my team lost, period. Anyways, let's get to, you know, the feeling. Especially when you've been struggling as an Oilers fan. And a Philadelphia Flyers fan for as long as you have, and neither one of them. Anyways, Toronto versus Montreal. Uh, Toronto showed us the Toronto team that Toronto is last game. Montreal showed us an inexperienced coach who made some very poor moves. Um, and uh, a Montreal team that just doesn't match up to the top players of Toronto. Uh, Carey Price was and could come back and be rocked this and Montreal could win this game, but I can't bank on that. Um, inconsistency has been the way for Price pretty much, except, you know, playoffs, he's usually, he's darn good. But I just think overall with Felino, the additions that Toronto made, especially Felino, and Matthew starting to rip it up again, I, I think they're going to win this game. and. I think they're. Uh, I think that uh, they're going to have a hard. Montreal's going to have a hard time winning any more games in this series, to tell you the honest truth. So, taking Toronto on the money line at one sixty-five, and I'm kind of leaning on the over here, based on Price. My, I'm going to lean that Price doesn't get back here, doesn't get back, and uh, Montreal. Yeah, I'm going to lean the over. Montreal can pot one or two against Campbell. Something like 
four two five two five three something like that. Just got a feeling, and I'm gonna take Toronto. I'm gonna take uh, first period over one and a half as well. Islanders versus Pittsburgh. Flip a coin here. Uh, the Islanders. The Islanders are the most one one of the most inconsistent teams this year. When they're rocking and playing the like the Islanders, we know they can be strong defense, heavy in the neutral zone, um, anticipating passes and all of those sort of things like that. They can win this game. Uh, but to me, this looks like it's going to be a, a seven game series all the way. Um, and uh, uh, as it stands right now, it's what two and two, right? Yeah, two and two. So I think Pittsburgh gets this at home. Uh, as far as the over under is concerned, Sorokin's going to be in that. I like Sorokin a lot. I really do. It, it, yeah, I'm. As you can tell, I'm not huge on this game. I, I would probably fade it, but since I'm giving you totals and everything for everyone, I'm going to say Pittsburgh and the over. Because if Pittsburgh wins, it means they likely came through with Sorokin. I think Pittsburgh's going to, like, we've seen it a couple times already, uh, once or twice in this round, these in this uh, series, that Pittsburgh can take the first period quick. they got to get on the Islanders right away and fast. Use their speed. Get them back on their heels. Now, the Islanders used to never get caught up like that. But this year, it has happened a lot more than last year. Their defense is, is uh, since they lost De uh, Devin Tays, their defense is pretty green. And then there's Green on defense, who isn't green, but he's green. his name is Green. And he's old. And, you know, there's, there's areas, that's the area that Pittsburgh can really um, expose with the Islanders is their defense on paper is not that great. Problem is, the reason why this is, is going to be seven likely is because Pittsburgh has Jari as a goaltender. If you switched goaltenders, and this includes Sorokin, this series would have been over already. Pittsburgh would have won this series. So I'm leaning Pittsburgh to win this game, though. Tampa versus Florida. I think I, um, I'd love to say that Florida is going to win this game. Put Spencer Knight in for the love of God. And I, I've heard, oh, they're not going to do it because, uh, you know, psychologically for him to lose the series. But there's no expectation for Florida to win this now. Um, they're down 3-1. Drigger didn't do it. Bobrovsky's not going to do it. Why don't you take lightning in a bottle out of like lightning in a bottle? This uh, Spencer Knight looks like he's not affected by losses. He really doesn't. Of course, Carter Hart looked like that too at one time. But um, I would play him. I'd play him in this one if they happen to play Tyler right here or Spencer Knight. I mean, I think I'll go with Florida. I think it would be enough of a boost to get him through. Otherwise, I'm taking Tampa Bay. And I'm probably going to over again. Six. Uh, Florida. Florida. The only way Florida is going to play this game is playing a high pressure game and kind of uh, hoping they can play well enough defensively to stop Tampa to a certain degree. That's really the only way they're going to win. It's the way they kind of played all year. So I'm going to go over six. You're getting 206 on that. Put a pearl on that. I kind of like it. Winnipeg, Edmonton on the back-to-back. -back. I don't even like to talk about this game. Um, Edmonton outplayed them. Edmonton outplayed them. So I'm going back to Edmonton to win this one on a back-to-back. -back. Thing is, you got a 39-year-old goaltender playing on a back-to-back -back against Hullabuck. That's the crappy thing. But when it, Edmonton's going to give everything, everything, everything in the tank, out of the tank here. I would think. It'll be interesting to see. Edmonton could just give up the ghost and say, screw it. I, I hope not. I can't, you know, in four, really? You're going to get ousted in four? 
take an Edmonton. It'll only be for small because I'm not super confident. And uh, because it's a back-to-back -back and both teams are tired, I think you'll see a fairly defensive battle here. I'll go the under, under five and a half. I, I did that this game, and obviously it wasn't. Minnesota, Vegas. Vegas puts it away. Vegas, I don't know what they were doing the first two games against Minnesota, but they're playing like the Minnesota that I expect them to be like. They're playing like the Vegas that I expected them to be like when I picked them to win in, uh, was it five or five games? I think I picked them to win. So they're playing like that, and uh, I think they're going to continue playing like that. I would love it to see Pacioretty back in that back there, but even if he's not, they're they're playing too heavy. They're anticipating Minnesota now. Minnesota is going to have to regroup uh, and uh, have a just keep on building that plan that they have in Minnesota. They they right now it, it's not diverse enough. They have they're kind of one trick ponies. They can play like a really cool system in the offensive zone, but it, it's sort of the same pattern. And it, when a team catches on to it, they don't know how they don't have much after that. Uh, so, I, and Vegas is caught on to it. So, I'm going to take Vegas, and this time I'm going to go the over. The first time in this series, I'm going the over. This is one series where I've been nailing them, nailing them, nailing them. So, hopefully, we keep on nailing them, right? Okay, guys, I got. I'm going for a big, big hike tomorrow with the little. little Hit the subscribe button if you would. Uh, join the uh, join the frolic here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries, and I'll send you a mine shell Pearls of Wisdom necklace, pearlocoptered, right to your backyard. I just bring it down, and you'll get a mine shell Pearls. Of if you want, just go purchase one in any store that sells things. Any store that sells pearl necklaces, just go. And ask and say, where's your pearl necklace section? Go purchase yourself one if you want. You know, makes good stocking stuffers. Birthday presents. Bar mitzvahs. They love pearl necklaces at bar mitzvahs. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, that's my full 42. Okay, bye.